Good day Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for June 26th to July 2nd. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. If y'all could, if you're not subscribed uh, and you're, you are watching my videos, please subscribe. Uh, that helps my channel immensely. And, um, yeah, so it would be much appreciated if you would subscribe. Thank you. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Queen of Hearts. Eight of Spades, Seven of Hearts, and the Queen of Spades. Okay. Well, throughout this week, you're going to have an instigator, uh, somebody that's very resentful of you, and they want to put a monkey wrench in all your plans. Um, when you figure out who this person is, make sure that you know all the facts about this person, their plans, and why they're doing it before you confront them. That way you know you're you're ready to confront them. Uh, so don't confront them until you know all the facts. At the beginning of the week, um, if you're with somebody, this person sincerely loves you unconditionally and may ask you to marry them uh, at the beginning of the week here. Uh, if you're not with somebody, then that means that somebody uh, is either coming towards you or you're interested in somebody. And whoever it is, whoever this person is that wants to express their love to you, they sincerely love you unconditionally. This is, this is a true thing right here. This person wants to put a ring on your finger. So uh, if you're with somebody, you're going to have a great beginning of the week. And uh, if you're not with somebody, then... There's definitely somebody there out there for you, uh, no doubt about it. In the middle of the week, uh, you may have some false fears about something. Uh, and I feel like this could be caused by this instigator. This instigator could be putting false fears into you. And, uh, well, it's an instigator. You need to not listen to this person. So if somebody's whispering in your ear uh, things that are making you worried about something that you want to do, possibly even taking on a, a a new love or something uh don't don't listen to them it's a false fear it's it's not it's not real uh so fear not and act now act on the things that you want to do and the things that you want to get remember this person is trying to throw a monkey wrench in your in your plans so it very well could be this person that's putting the fear into you uh and you need to not uh allow them to do that and it might not be the instigator, but I feel like it's the instigator. But it could just be that you're having false fears uh, about something uh, just by yourself. But uh, the cards say to fear not, to act now on whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Or, um, you know, at the end of the week, uh, you need to stop. You're doing too damn much. You're probably doing other things that uh, aren't your priorities. Uh, possibly helping somebody or some shit. This could, again, this could be this instigator. This instigator could be, you know, making you do stuff that you don't need to do or whatever and taking up your time and messing up your actual priorities like bills and stuff or housework or, you know, they're, they're taking away from your priorities and you need to cut that fat, cut that fat off. Either that or you're doing too much at work, like you're doing over, you're overly working, you know, you're doing stuff that you particularly should not be doing or uh, are not qualified to do or not uh, supposed to be doing. And you need to cut that fat and focus on your priorities, focus on number one, focus on you. Uh, and then focus on one priority at a time, finish that priority, and then repeat. Uh, but yeah, you need to stop doing so much. You're doing way too damn much at the end of the week. So, uh, yeah, so 
Uh, yeah, instigator, beware. And it looks like this, I feel like this instigator is doing a lot of stuff. The false fears, uh, making you work too much or do stuff that, you know, is taken away from your priorities. And then there's sincere love. You know, that's, that's really great. You got sincere love, unconditional love at the beginning of the week. And, uh, yeah, you can, this person's true. So you can trust this person that they actually really love you. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull a tarot card and see what the tarot cards say about this. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? The Wheel of Fortune. So, right now, what you need to do is you need to sit in the middle of the Wheel of Fortune and watch the universe move around you. You know, make sure that you're in the middle, not on the sidelines, slipping by. You need to focus on your vibrations and raise your vibrations to a higher level and do some learning, learn some new stuff, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you need to sit in the middle. Don't, don't sit on the side because you'll get yourself lost. You know, sit in the middle and uh, really focus on your vibration and raise your vibration high. And by raising your vibration high, it'll help you to uh, get away, escape this, uh, you know, this instigator that's trying to mess you up in many different ways. So stay focused. Stay in the middle. Don't jump on, like, different... Well, don't jump on the bullshit this person is is causing you. You stay in the middle. You got true love. Whatever you want to do, you need to act upon it and you need to focus on your priorities. And how you're going to do that is staying centered. Stay centered so you can see everything around you. You know, focus on your priorities, work on them, and uh, fix that vibration and make sure you're vibrating high. And uh, I mean, that's what I get from the Wheel of Fortune pertaining to the other cards is that. So really center yourself. And don't let this instigator screw you up. You you know what you need to do. You know what you can do. Don't don't let somebody whisper in your ear about uh, bad things about the things that you want to do. You know, or take up your time when you need to get your own shit done. Uh, it's not a bad thing to get your own shit done. We need to do that. We need to think of number one. You know, we come first. So. Um, there you have it. I hope it resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.